Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd just do a very brief video. Um, I installed the latest Sparky Linux over the weekend. Uh, I noticed it was released on DistroWatch. Sparky 4.6.1 was released. I went ahead and installed it and I installed the LXDE version. Now everything installed properly no issues at all uh, it's got it's based on Debian 9 stretch it is the stable version not the testing version um, one of the things that popped out at me um, on this particular release if I go to the Sparky Center uh, you still got all of the normal Sparky utilities everything is done really well um, as I mentioned before, the default applications for LX session doesn't work out of the box, but you have to install it. Um, so I did install it so I can get my all my auto start applications going. But what really stood out to me was the NVIDIA driver uh, utility. <clears throat> now in the past, because I have a kind of a funky um, NVIDIA card, I think it's a Pascal card, um, it doesn't work out of the box. And within Ubuntu, I can use the driver installer and it installs it without a problem. But with Debian, I have not found a Debian distribution that actually installed my NVIDIA drivers for this particular card. It's the GTX 1050 Ti. Uh, even, for example, with the last version of Sparky, when I went to the NVIDIA driver installer and I used that to install my NVIDIA card, it would actually go through the motions, but it really didn't install my NVIDIA drivers. And so I had to uh, install the NVIDIA drivers manually. And it's not that I couldn't get them running. Manual installation is no problem. But I hadn't found within any Debian distribution um, any driver installer that actually worked on this particular card. It worked on the last card that I had in my machine which was the GT740. But this GTX 1050 Ti is still a little new um, so it, it doesn't always work out of the box. I end up having to install manually. But the good news is that this particular version of Sparky now is the first Debian distribution that I have found that actually installs the NVIDIA card. Now not out of the box but when I click on the NVIDIA driver installer within Sparky it actually does the job properly. So all I have to do is use the utility get the drivers installed reboot and BAM it's working. So the the device driver manager as you can see it actually identifies the card properly but until this newest version if I check the box and install it it really it went through the motions but it really didn't work this is the first Debian distribution that I have found where the device driver manager actually works and installs the drivers properly. So if you have a Pascal card, NVIDIA card, um, then you will like the fact that this will work for you. Uh, every, no other issues, everything works really, really well. No problems at all. And so a big pat on the back to uh, Sparky Linux. Now if you go to Sparky's website and you go to the 4.6 announcement 
Uh, I don't think every version is available yet in 4.6. Let me go to the downloads area. So on the download page, you can choose your Sparky edition, stable, rolling, development. Um, I went to the stable version, and that's where the 4.6 was listed. Okay, so now it's available in LXDE, XFCE, and the minimal GUI with no codex. So it is available 4.6. Now, if I go to the the testing version, that's still reflecting the 4.5.2. So if you want the 4.6, right now it's available in the in the stable version. I highly recommend it. It is right now it is the the best Debian uh, distribution that I have found other than plain old Debian which I love uh, but this just provides so many more utilities the installation is much easier than standard Debian also so you really can't go wrong in using this and as you can see it's it's absolutely terrific no issues whatsoever it's got the con keys built in um, lots of available software I think you guys would really like it so guys that is it for this uh, brief video just a little bit of a Nvidia breakthrough as far as Debian is concerned specifically Sparky Linux so guys thanks for stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care